Hey there, Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Carolyn B. And uh, welcome to Spiritual Guidance Academy, uh, the channel here. So uh, thank you so much. Big shout out to uh, Nicole there and my fellow spiritual superstars out there. Thank you for allowing me to share this platform for a little bit to uh, kind of get to know everyone here and to say, hey, what's up? <laughs> Again, my name is Carolyn B. Uh, I do have a channel, so feel free to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe here. So uh, we've got a shout out here. Thank you. You are amazing. You are too. Uh, Spiritual Guidance Academy, Nicole, uh, thank you all so very much. And let's just get started here. We are working with selenites for everybody out there. If you may be unfamiliar, very quickly, just kind of stopping by, pulling you a few cards for November 2020, just to kind of see what's going on. Selenite is a great crystal to work with when it comes to helping purifying your environment. You know, possibly if you are still able to get out to work or maybe you're stuck at home with the kids and the family, the pets and the craziness, you know, possibly putting this on your desk. Again, maybe if you are able to get out, if you've got a car, you know, transportation, you know, uh, putting it in your glove box is also helps to with purifying uh, your inner self as well, too, for my fellow spiritual workers out there, because we know how it can get when you're on the front lines, can't we? <laughs> OK, so let's just get started here. We're going to pull you a few cards here just to kind of see what's going on. I do understand uh, all of you are in different areas of your life, so uh, if this message resonates, that's great. If not, that's all right, too. You know, cross watch or pull up a seat. This is not gender specific. This could have to do with love, friends, family, health, finances, anything. All right, so let's just see what messages you may have, okay? Uh, for Capricorns out there, we have... It says the white switch, be the light. Now, that word can really put people off, possibly uh, be very scary, all right? However, I feel like for most of you that are on here, uh, you're using your powers for good, if you will. And you do not necessarily have to be a reader, you know, or anything like that. You could be a makeup artist, all right, a cosmetologist, because you like to make people feel good about themselves, you know. Big shout out to my hairdressers out there. They're going to be upset with me when they open back up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but you like to make people feel good about themselves. Uh, maybe you're a counselor on some level. You like to be able to help someone out there. You know, possibly you are that person, that friend that people go to for a phone call. My man is acting up again or this girl is acting crazy. You are uh, that shoulder that they can really lean on. All right. So this really isn't anything that has to be scary. Uh, you could also be working with herbal medicines. All right. Making your own tea, stuff like that. You know, uh, also, too, if we look closer, we've got the owl here, which is a representation of omens. So be mindful and paying attention to your dreams. Sometimes if we get a uh, past loved one that comes to visit us, they can do that through a dream. You know, pay attention to the synchronicities, the numbers, you know, if there's any particular songs, the scents, you know, if somebody had a particular perfume that they like to wear, uh, for example, you know, I will know if my grandmother comes through, you know, because she wore a particular type of perfume, also uh, particular types of foods that she would cook when I'd go to visit her when she was still with us. And, uh, you know, past loved ones are still here, too. All right. Uh, also, this is a uh, omen sounds like a very scary word, but all it really means is just um, a realization a visitation, all right, possibly uh, if you've noticed, like, maybe you feel like your place is haunted, stuff like that. You know, I've worked with all types of uh, paranormal investigators out there. Some are fabulous and some, well, it's just for show. That's all right. That's their thing, whatever. <laughs> uh, however, if you notice that, you know, you're, you're noticing things being moved or, uh, you know, something turns on and there's no explanation that could be an omen as well. Like, hey, time to pay attention. Here I am. Here I am. Some spirits like to do that, too. So, uh, again, that's not to scare or frighten anyone either. 
all right? But this is really good. I'm really liking this. This is saying be the light amongst pretty much all the chaos that's going around, really. And, uh, you know, the haters, the doubters, the naysayers, that you, you could have, should have, would have, you know, you had so much potential and look at this and that block it out, block it out. You know, it's great to get constructive criticism, uh, but consider the source, you know, identify with it, sit with it. And it's just like, is this person coming from a place of love or are they coming from somewhere else? You know, uh, also too, what is, what's love got to do with it? We're going to get into the good stuff right now. This is also, you know, uh, I feel like for my Capricorns out there, you're going to be getting some options. You know, some of you could also let's take a look at some signs to possibly be on the lookout for when it comes to November 2020. And again, uh, some of you are single. Some of you are in that. Should I stay? Should I go? What's the deal? Break up, make up, break up, make up, you know, cat, mouse, chaser, runner. Could this be my twin flame? Is this a possible twin flame? Well, they're at least a soulmate. Everyone's a soulmate here. It's a soul contract, you know. Your parents are your soulmate, your pets are your soulmates, you know, your friends are your soulmates. That's a soul contract. You know, twin flames are harder to find here. So uh, let's see, what else do we have for our Capricorns when it comes to November 2020 here? All right, some of you, uh, we've got the full card here. All right, this possibly could have been a uh, somebody making you out to feel like a fool, or maybe they did. Maybe you did this to somebody else again, vice versa. You know, uh, this could have to do with Scorpio. This could have to do with Leo. This could have to do with a lot of them. <laughs> Taurus, this could have to do with, uh, you know, Aries. This could have to do with Aquarius. This could have to do uh, Leo, Cancer, all right? And this is pretty much like this, right? I don't want to make a foolish decision that I've made in the past, especially for my singles out there. It's like, I want the the right man this time, Carolyn, or I want the right woman this time. And why do I keep picking the same type of people, whether they look different, whether they've got a different type of career, whether they don't, you know, and it's just like, no matter who I choose, it's it's repeating the cycles repeating itself so a lot of you are breaking uh those karmatic cycles a lot of you are you know uh, you've, you've paid back that karmatic debt or some of you may be on the start to doing that as well all right also too it's just like you know who's out there that is actually trustworthy and i believe nicole here was talking about you know zero weren't you nicole okay so you know, uh, that's also working with Ascended Masters out there. All right. Uh, this is also, you know, comp comp you got 10, that's completion. Something to do with a Sagittarius for some of you as well. Some of you could be uh, working with a Sagittarius. All right. And it's just like, all right, I don't want to make a foolish decision. Some of you too could also be like, you want to ask that person out or you want to take a chance and maybe get on a dating website, uh, maybe take a chance, like, is that person into me, not that into me? Well, there's nothing wrong with asking, and there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, reevaluating re your situation. There is nothing wrong it's something to do with like a juggler, like somebody here was juggling. I don't know if this was an X for some of you, but it's just like, all right, yeah, juggling makes sense, Carolyn. Uh, some of you could also, again, something about Gemini's coming up again. I'm just getting the messages, so this could have to do with you. Maybe not. I'm not sure. You know, but it's just like somebody here was juggling or maybe it's you juggling finances, robbing Peter to pay Paul, you know, um, maybe having to do it all on your own, especially if you're a single parent out there, you know, having to take care of the kids, having to clean the place, doing your everyday things, taking care of the bills, you know, the business, everything that's going on here. This is an overload. This is a lot, you know, and you're, you're still here. All right. You are still breathing and it is for a reason. All right. You were meant to be the light. You were meant to go down at this particular path. You were meant to stumble across this channel, uh, for a reason. All right. And you're not a, you know, you're not the jester. It's just like, it reminds you of like the King being like, come hither. 
make me laugh, entertain me. And it's just like, listen, all right, that's enough, buddy. (laughs) Okay, I've done enough of making you laugh and do this and do that. Time for me, time for me to go on my path. Again, that could have to do with relationships and this and that. Let's look a little bit further into it on some specifics, asking my angels, my spirit guides, what's the deal? Okay, so a lot of you could be working with those fire signs as well. Again, this could go vice versa. So that'd be Leo, Sagittarius, you know, for some of my Capricorns out there. All right, Aries too. On the bottom here, it says a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. How is your sleep going? Possibly some of you aren't dreaming out there or you're maybe possibly uh, some of your dreams aren't coming to fruition because of all this noise and all this like stuff going on. All right. But this is the night. Night of fire, night of passion. Uh, Somebody out there could possibly be taking on that next journey as far as to. All right. What's really going on here within myself? What, 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 you know, uh, some of you could also be meeting somebody. It's like the knight in shining armor that could go for male, female, whatever. And they just come on in and it's just like, here I am. I'm going to save you, my dear princess. Okay. I'm going to sit here and save you. And I'm not, somebody here is really passionate about you. This possibly could be an ex. And you're just like, oh, No, 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 no. (laughs) You know, and it's just like, okay, nobody needs saving here, please. All right. Uh, Oh, my gosh. I'm getting all flushed here. This person's very passionate. However, on, you know, a positive note. Okay. Now, people can change. So this relationship could uh, come back together if there is a separation. I'm seeing a lot of that for a lot of the signs for November 2020. Oh, you know. It, it feels so uh, wrong, but I know it's got to be right. Somebody else was saying, well, if you keep putting that type of thing, uh, intention out there, you know, uh, that's going to keep happening here. And I feel like that this is really positive. This is really good. And I'm sorry for laughing here. It's like, sorry, not sorry. You know, I feel like that that person has that type of attitude or possibly this is you being passionate and adventurous. You know, if you are able to Uh, take that trip, do it. If you are able to, you know, write that book, do it, rewrite your life, do it, you know, uh, get that spa day or that, that stay K, you know, uh, Kanye West, there was a, yeah, staycation, you know, uh, do whatever it is that you have to do in order to fill up your own cup, you know, and unfortunately, you know, I, I've noticed this with a lot of the earth signs out there, my fellow earth signs. Yep. Again, not only you, my uh, dear Capricorns, but Taurus Virgo as well. It's just like second guessing yourself, second uh, questioning a relationship. Like, is this person out to get me? Because we've been, you don't have to be a reader, a psychic or anything like that to know everyone's been hurt in the past. That's just pure facts here. You know, uh, that's like going through life saying I've never gotten a bump or a, a cut or a bruise. You know, you're growing. All right. And that can be very scary. You know, the brighter the brighter you shine, again, that can be very scary because that brings in the jealousy, the haters, the naysayers, the jealous exes, possibly if you are in a relationship or even a business relationship. And it's just like you get someone out there like, well, I didn't want to put in the work, but they're supposed to be with me or, you know, they're supposed to be my woman. They're supposed to be my man. Who the heck does this person think they are just coming on in, uh, saving the day here? <laughs> But this is really good. Uh, Something, however, does need your uh, immediate attention to. Time is of the essence. That could have to do with documentation, legal work, stuff like that, possibly concentrating on stuff that's going on at home. You know, it could be uh, your fur babies, children, something like that. You know, uh, also, too, to think things through very carefully when it comes to uh, the situation. All right. So. But not to overthink it and not to overworry yourself about it. If it feels right, great. If not, you know, uh, and you don't want to be rude about it, just take some time for yourself. Meditate on it. Ask spirits, your angels to come through only as long as they have your positive uh, best interests at hand. 
to please give you a message. All right. Uh, you know, so for your very last message, Capricorns, I'm so excited for you. Look at this. New love here. It says embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth as well. Also do with that self-love. You put that out there for the world to see. And when you're putting out love, and I know it can be very hard to do that, especially in trying times and when people try you, honey, those button pushers. But again, this is wishing upon that star. And you're just like, here I am. I am ready to catch this star. And <laughs> no one's, no one else is going to do this for me. You know, no one else is going to catch my wish. No one else is going to uh, sabotage me. And I'm very happy for you, Capricorns. All right. New love for a lot of you. Uh, again, this could be new love found for yourself. And it's very easy to fall out of love with ourselves when we've got somebody there bashing us all the time, right? All right. Uh, also, too. Oh, my gosh. This is just wonderful. I'm so excited for all of you. Uh, again, new work opportunities, something you thought you would never get into or never thought of. And uh, abundance. This is wonderful. Also, you're spiritually growing. I'm excited and I can't wait to see what happens next for all of you. So thank you so much again uh, and until next time.